Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host Coslix, and today I'm telling you seven Brawlhalla tips to make you instantly improve. So let's get right into this. The first tip I'm just gonna tell you, go into training room and I want you to be able to hit every true combo on your weapons 10 times in a row true. So let me show you how to set this thing up. So basically go into the settings, change it to CPU just like this, put the CPU in the center, then go to the bottom, position reset on, damage reset on, go, uh, sorry, timed, go back to the player mode, and then you're back on your original character. I'm just gonna, oh, sound, oh, never mind. And then what else you have to do is uh, go onto this first page, show damage on, stun on, hitbox is on, hurtbox is on, item spawning off, and this will clean up the map. If you don't have a weapon, you can get a weapon here. So give a weapon, boots or lance for me, because I'm on Thea. And basically, think of every true combo on your kit. If you don't know true combos on your kit, subscribe for more guides on specific weapons. If not, just look them up on YouTube. Uh, but D-Light Sarah on boots, for instance, or like maybe it's like D-Light Recovery, and make sure you can hit them true 10 times in a row. So what you can do is like, let's say the combo kills, set it to a kill option, and then you hit it, they respawn, you hit it again, and make sure you can hit every single true combo 10 times in a row true. If you can't hit it 10 times in a row true, then keep doing it until you can. That's a great way to learn instantly how to improve. It's optimizing your combo routes, which is optimizing how much damage you do. It makes it so you don't need to win neutral as many times to win. And you're just optimizing the reward for winning neutral and just kind of learning the combo routes. These are essential 101, but that's the first of seven tips. Let's get on to the next. Okay, the next tip, uh, just to help you instantly improve at ranked, uh, make sure you turn off gadgets and non-tournament maps. So what you do is you go to settings, make sure on the lobby tab, which you can switch the tabs um, up at the top. And then you see here, tournament maps only on, make sure it's on. Ban maps, I don't like Western Air Temple, but you can ban whatever map you want. And then ban gadgets on as well. This just makes it so ranked is as consistent as possible. You know, there's specific maps, there's no gadgets, and you can kind of, uh, what, like, improving is learning how to win every single time, and removing external factors is a key thing that you can do. It's important to make every single game as consistent as possible, so you can learn how to execute as consistently as possible. So that's tip number two. Let's get on to our next tip. Okay, so this next tip is to watch replays, but specifically, I want you guys all to focus on punishing. Brahala's most important thing is learning how to punish and that decision making around punishing. So for instance, if you're a neutral like I am here, after the down stick, this is neutral. Zinker does a down light. Now, can I punish that? Do I try? Punishing is basically attacking your opponent while they can't attack you because they're in some frames. If it's punishing because, let's say, they waste a dodge so no, they can no longer dodge away. Or, in this instance, Zinker did a sword down light and I'm making that decision. Can I punish the down light? He is stuck in those frames. Can I punish him? Can I attack him? And I can't because it's too quick. Um, but the recovery happens, and I'm like, can I punish that? I can't. Can I punish that side air? I think I can, but I can't. And that decision making, right? Like, he does a side air here. Can I punish it? I thought I could punish it, and I did it down there, but that was the wrong decision. So I want you guys really to focus on that decision making for punishing. And it's just getting better at punishing. That is like 90% of Brahala. I'm not even kidding. At least at the majority of your skill levels, punishing is the most important thing for improving. So for instance, and this happens so many times where it does a recovery. Can I punish this recovery? Probably not, but I try to anyways. And can he punish my nair? Probably not, but maybe. And then he messes the downer. Can I punish his downer? No, but he does a wake up nair anyways. Can I punish that nair? Probably not. Can I punish the delight? Probably yes, and I do. So again, it's just those decisions are so important. So practice punishing. Okay, my next tip is a really weird one. Bubble tag 1v1. I don't know if you guys have played this game mode. If you haven't, let me know down below. But try this with a friend. Set the score to 10 and just do a little bubble tag 1v1. I think you can do it against bots as well. So if I set the bot to chosen, I think I can. Yeah, you can. And essentially what a bubble tag 1v1 is, it's a neutral game simulator. It's first person to get hit or first person to land a hit gets the point. So it's just simulating Brawlhalla in a way. 
So it's actually just a really fun way of practicing neutral. As you see there, I let him miss, I punish them properly, and then I get a point. So it's just simulating that punishing experience. There, I punished with the wrong option, and so I lost the point. That guy does a random side sig, and then I punish properly. You can play this against bots, against friends, and uh, yeah, this is just a great way of just, again, repetition. We're practicing neutral game, practicing both you and your opponent have even advantage and disadvantage state. So we're just kind of simulating Brahala as quickly as possible to focus on purely the neutral game of deciding how to punish and whatnot. So yeah, this is just a it's, a, it's also really fun. You can do this with friends. It's just a simple 1v1 and it's really fast. Um, you get little breathers for a second between points. But uh, yeah, let me just finish this up. <laughs> the bots are pretty bad. Even chosen bots there. Yeah, happens. Okay, next tip. Pick a favorite weapon and then pick a main based on that favorite weapon. There's tons of pros who throughout history have focused on one weapon and then pick the character that's best with that weapon. So for instance, Sandstorm with Scythe, Boomy with Blasters, myself with Lance, Megdi with Sword, Stingray with Spear. Uh, that's all I got written down, but there's a lot more, I promise. And those are some of the biggest names. So what I really recommend is like, let's say you like Lance and you're gonna wanna be like, okay, who are the best Lance legends right now? And then I pretty easily say Thea, Ulgrim, and I would say um, uh, Vector. Those, and Orion. Orion, how did I almost forget Orion? Those are probably the best Lance Legends right now. So then it's like, okay, which secondary weapon do I enjoy playing the most or is easiest to win with? Or which characters make Lance easier to win with? Um, so then there's like Thea. Maybe if you want an easy second weapon, you got like Ulgrim and Scarlet. Um, but yeah, there, there's tons. If you want something that's pretty well-rounded that just want to land, you got Vector. It, there's, there's tons. Or if you're a Scythe player, maybe you'd be playing Mirage right now. Or you want an OP secondary weapon, Blasters are pretty good. Um, or you got Mordex, who has some insane stats, a great secondary weapon, and amazing SIGs. Uh, you, you get the point, though. Pick a weapon and focus on that weapon, and then pick a character that makes it easy. So, let's put myself in the audience's shoes. Let's say I am a cannon player. Let's say I love cannon, and you're thinking, okay, who are the easiest cannon legends to win with? Onyx is really solid. There's also Sidra. Um, Sidra's cannon SIGs, the cannon end SIG is insane. Um, Zul is arguably the easiest character to climb ranks with if you're a cannon player, just because Axe is so easy. Uh, and, and you get what I'm trying to say. There's probably a new cannon legend coming out soon, actually. Onyx was a while ago. But, uh, yeah, if I was a cannon player, I'd be probably playing Zul right now. Look at the attack. <laughs> like, that character must be so annoying to deal with in gold. So, uh, pick a, pick a main and then, or pick a legend and pick a main. Okay. Tip number six, watch your favorite pros. There's so many Brawlhalla pro gameplay that you can watch. Go to the Brawlhalla Esports YouTube channel. And then there's just so many sets. And I really recommend just kind of obsessing over Brawlhalla Esports. If you really want to improve, watch the people that use the characters optimally. And then you can kind of start paying attention to what they do and slowly add it to your own gameplay. So for instance, if you are wanting to play Gauntlets, then you can just go into one of these twos matches because they all have gauntlets um there's knees right there and ted or whatever um but not just that there's meg d who's good at gauntlets but also sword um playing caspian as well here so that's gauntlets uh sandstorm with scythe and paulo with bow and spear stingray with spear there's tons truck stop with lance and axe like there, there's so many pros that you can watch right now so check out the brahala esports youtube channel and follow your favorite pros on twitter or whatever they post on and the last tip to improve but not the least this is actually a crazy one is i have this little mini game that i like to do as a warm-up against bots where it's essentially fight against the bots in couch party set to a 1v1 and try not to get hit once so maybe first start with an easy bot and then just play and then the goal again do not get hit once what this is doing is it's allowing you to hyper analyze in the moment to make sure you don't get hit you have to stay really focused to just not do something dumb easy bots are going to be like quite easy to do this against they like are just genuinely slow um yeah but also yes i had to one stock my bad 
But what, what you're going to want to do is once you be an easy bot, then set it to medium, then do it again, then set it to hard, then do it again. Then if you beat hard, then go to extreme, do it again, then chosen, then do it again. Then if that's too easy, go two stocks, then do it again. Maybe turn handicaps on and then do it again. Maybe set the chosen bot to 300% damage or whatever you really want. There, there's so many ways to customize Brawlhalla's online play to improve a Brawlhalla and just do whatever you can to make the challenge harder and harder against bots because again what this is, is this is doing is it's making an environment that's repetitive so it's giving you a clear way to improve and it, it's basically a way to simulate improving at brahala without playing online and this is something you can do instantly you can do it on the go i used to play brahala on a laptop in high school i'm not even kidding i was that kid in the hallway with a controller and a laptop practicing brahala and if you really want to go pro you should be too if you got any questions about this kind of game mode let me know down below in the comments let me know if one of these tips helped you i'd really appreciate it if you just let me know if anything here in this video helped you uh your feedback is always greatly appreciated thank you so much for watching this video subscribe for more videos on neutralix and i'll see you all later peace